And I'm Greg. Also known as Charlie Brown. And you're with Positive Creation and Reese and more. If you're on our Facebook page, don't forget that follow button. That way you get notified every time we go live. And if you're on our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe and hit that bell. And also give us a like. Um, that way you get notified if you're on our YouTube. If you're new, let us know that you're new so we can give you a warm welcome. So today, like I said, our name is Positive Creation Reese and more. And today it's going to be that and more. I got two projects for you and I think you'll like them. So the last time we were live, which was last week, we did a Christmas cathedral. Well, we did a cathedral and we turned it into fall. So I have one more cathedral window left and we're going to make this one a Christmas one. And yes, it does light up. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Miss Teresa. See, it does light up. However, I am going to take this little wreath thing off and I'm going to show you how to glam it up with just a little bit. And we're going to take this sitting over the top. So with that being said, let's get started. And I just dropped some flowers. Nothing new for me. It's light in and out of this. So I'm going to clip it and then unwind all those wires. But i got to be careful that I don't put the lights. Don't do that. I know, right? Just trying to find a spot here. It was this way when I did the other one for the fall one. I hope everyone had a beautiful and blessed day. I've been busy all day. There it is. All right. And we didn't clip the lights, thank goodness. And y'all, you know my motto, don't throw anything away because you could always reuse it and revamp it and remodel it. Wait till you see the second project that we're going to do tonight. Let's get this one knocked out of the way, and then we'll go to that second one. Yeah. That second one, I told Charlie Brown what I was going to do, and he's like, you're going to do what? Like, yeah, you heard me. Oh, yeah, I forgot this was stapled. Yeah, they stapled this one. I forgot. I may have to have Charlie Brown get this off for me. Well, I need a cutting torch. I need it. <laughs> he ain't right in the head. I need a new tool. You always need a new tool. Take the trash out. <laughs> He's rotten, folks. All right. There's that piece. Now let's finish. Maybe I should have done this beforehand. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Now I have my glasses on. Do you need them? Probably so I can see better. Let me go get them for you. Yeah, no. All right. Now that he's out, now's the time to ask all the questions you want. But at any time, seriously, you can ask any questions you want. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you should have brought that back here and showed him. I can go get it real quick. All right. The other one, this lights didn't take that long to get off of there. Thank you, Darren. I can see. It took them off so I could take a shower and forgot to put it back on. Hey, I can see. Wow. I've got Christy's cane that she's going to need. He ain't right. <laughs> he ain't right, y'all. It's got a magnifying glass so she can see. <laughs> we got her dentures here for. Y'all, he's cruising. Her medicine bottle. I got her little horn. That way she can tell people, get out of my way. Because <laughs> he was squeaking it on the way back. <laughs> and then got her broken sign. That... Yeah. But now this is a gift that we got for her dad for when, one of his birthdays. When he turned 50 or 60. Something like that. Something like that. We got him that. We got him an over the hill cake. And we decorated it all in over the hill. And I got him a gag gift. And it had Paula Dent. Hearing aid batteries, preparation age, some depends. What else? I don't remember. I don't remember. It's a big box of stuff. Toms, Hemodium. Teresa says laughing emojis. <laughs> That's what we did for my dad. And when he opened that up, he's like, you guys aren't right in the hand. <laughs> Never claimed to be. Yeah, you see, I saved that greenery just in case if we want to use it later. Let's get these wires out. Do you have my pliers? No, they're right there, aren't they? Yep. Sorry. Didn't want to have to shake you down. Wow, really? 
I don't Hello. steal your tools. You steal mine. <laughs> but you like it when I steal your tools. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Melanie, and welcome. She We're asked, so glad to where have you. did you get the cathedral? The cathedral I got at Old Time Pottery. I did purchase this last year, and I was going to make these last year and never did. But usually they have them every year. And if you're to pottery, I strongly suggest everybody to go in there. Or even the Carolina pottery, they... They have the same things. So that's where I got this. <clears throat> okay, you want to take these staples out for me? I didn't use this. Oh, what'd you use? The screwdriver, the long one, I think. Oh, the... my back scratcher. Okay, so I went ahead and I pre made the bow because we're going to do two projects. But we're going to do, we're going to put this bow on. But I got Fair some enough. greeneries and I got some, um, Poinsettias to go on this and some holly. And we're going to stick that right in the middle. Whoops. Now you can really see the lights while he's doing whatever. So, and with these lights hanging loose, we are going to intertwine that with our greenery and stuff. As you can see, they stapled right there. They stapled those, that wreath on there. And right there, and right there. But we're going to cover all that up see where it was at. I do have a sign that we're going to use. It says peace. I don't know if you can see that or not. Get a little bored. It says peace. We're going to use that. And this sign came from the Dollar Tree. You can go take it now. Um, you get three of them in there for $1.25. This is our like in the fall, they will come out with these little packages. This one's the fall one. It says thankful harvest and welcome. We could even use the welcome one on that, but I went ahead and used the peace one. I thought that would be more appropriate for this, but they come out with the ones for Christmas that say peace, joy, and believe. So that's where I got that for, sign from. And all my florals, this poinsettia and then this holly I did order from my supplier and then this green I got from Joanne and I got picked that up last year too and because I was going to do this last year and time got away from me so we're going to use some of this evergreen and it is frosted did you get it? no As soon as he gets his staples out, we'll move on with this. I thought you had a little screwdriver over here, but I didn't see one. I did. Oh, I see one spill. Did it fall down? What, this one here? Yeah. That's not strong enough. It's all right. Let me see where my piece would go across there, across the top. And I will attach this with the E6000, the piece. Unless I use my screwdriver that I had out there. there you go. go ahead. And all of my ribbon came from um, Craft Outlet, except for the one with the trees on it. I got that from Joanne's, I believe. I got a good screwdriver from out in the All right. Sorry, folks. You want me to start on the other thing? It's up to you if you want. All right, I can do that. So I'm going to move this over until he gets those little screws out or nails out. I should have had him do it before we went live. Anyhow, we're just going to move this over and we'll go ahead and start on the second project and then we'll come back to this. So, you guys ready for this? So, this is going to be something different. As you all know, I like to think outside of the box and push myself. Well, so... We've had a lot of trouble with our internet. We finally got the cable guy out here. And this little bad boy was bad. So we had to get a new cable cord. That's all it was. So we got a new cable cord. And I started to throw this away. And I thought, hmm, what could you do with this? So instead of throwing it out, I saved it. And I'll show you what I did. While he's taking care of that, we'll start on this. So this is just an old cable wire and I just clipped it and no, there's no sharp edges on the end. 
Y'all know me. I say don't throw nothing away because you never know when you can craft with it. So I'll show you what I did. And I definitely think outside of the box for sure. Oops. Did you get it out? Oh, I got it out. You didn't break my thing, did you? No, I just scuffed it up. Okay, that's fine. As long as you're getting it out, I can put paint over it. All righty. I had him help me do the first one, so I'm trying to do this by myself, and the wire keeps wanting to bend. They say if you step on these wires or if you bend them, it does break the connection on the inside, even though there's a coating. So FYI, if you're stepping on your cable or internet cord, don't. I'm just moving this closer down to the bottom. Okay. So there's one circle. And this one I'm going to make just a tad smaller. And I want to make sure this row, this side, one side is completely even and then the, the top side. You want the bottom side even, the top side, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be even. You can make it however you want. And if it gets off a little bit, it's okay because we can still move this even after we're done putting it together. It's okay. Now I'm using my bolt cutters and I'm going to cut this wire. It's easy to cut. Now tighten this up. Okay. There you go. So have you figured out what we're doing with this cable wire? Now I have one that's already painted because I did paint it. So I'll show you the other one once we get this one together. First, I would be backwards. Just leave my look. And this other side does not have to match this side. And you don't even have to make it this big. You can make it smaller if you want. Sky's the limit. Always think outside of the box. I'm gonna bring this one up. All righty. Patricia said, "Good evening, everyone." Good evening. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Patricia. She said, "I like craft outlet." Hi, mom. Yes. Hi, Karen. Hi, Greg. Christy, love you. Love, love you, you too. too. And then Melanie said, "I love craft outlet. Unfortunately, Old Time Pottery doesn't have a store in Washington State. Uh -huh. I will check with Hobby Lobby." And then Patricia said, right, white paint will fix it. Yep. No worries. No worries. White paint. And then Patricia's going to make a snowman with the cord. No, but that's good. You could do that, too. And Patricia said, stack of pumpkins. Of yeah, it's going to be a pumpkin. And you can bend this. It's a wire. And I even put a little stem on the other one. You got a bunch of coaxes that aren't good anymore. If I this isn't the only thing you can do with the two. So. No. Thank you. Oh. Did I drop one? No, no just a plastic tie. It's down by your. Oh, it was a tag. Yeah. Here we go. So we just put the little, because this is the uneven side, so we're going to put a little stem up here. First 
thing that I thought of was a pumpkin. So that's why I started making a pumpkin out of it. And of course, Charlie Brown is just looking at me. I'm like, who else has ever thought about taking an old wire and making something out of it? An old coax for the TV. And you can make your stem as big or as small as you want. You can make a big one. You can make a little one. Sky's the limit. And then, of course, I went through and trimmed them all down, and then I painted it. Now I got one that's already painted. So let's clip all these off. And you don't, like I said, you don't have to make them this big. I just like making everything big. Patricia said, at least I guess the stack pumpkins in my second guess. Yes, <laughs> you're right on there. Oh, I gotta clip this wire. Just don't want to work right, does it? No, because we're live. Anyhow, once I get this cut, I'll grab the one that's painted or Charlie Brown looks. It's right there by you. Okay, there we go. And I still got more wire left, so we'll be doing a snowman with that. And you can bend these and reshape them any way you want. Because there's no such thing as a perfect pumpkin, except for a fake one. Who's, who wants to be perfect? Not me. So there's that. You can still kind of see it, can't you? I started to get the white board, and I don't think that would show up. So we'll just go ahead and grab the one that's already painted now. Oh, you want me to grab that one now? Yeah. If you don't mind, dear. I guess I can do it along with my many other jobs. Okay. <laughs> there are going to be a lot of comments right now. There you go. And this one I painted. As you can see. And let's get the white thing and put it up against it. My mouth gets dry. I think it's hot back here. The light's on. Can you see that now? Yeah. So that's our pumpkin that I made out of the wire. And then I got some leads on some stems. This is something that's so easy and so simple. Doesn't take long at all to make. We're going to do two leaves this way. Two leaves this way. And we'll trim this down. Oh, take off me. Well, let's go ahead and put a zip tie on it first. I grabbed a bunch of zip ties. I know I did. <laughs> sure say, Craig, you're always helping Christy. Kudos. Thank you. He does. <laughs> I'd be lost without him. I really would. He's a good man. We, we do work well together. Yes. And the reason why we didn't go live Friday is because Charlie Brown was on a different run. And our our bedroom is literally right on the other side of that closet. So if I came back here and went live, he would hear me talking. And then he wouldn't get a sleep that he needed. So I thought, well, we'll just hold off. You need to sleep, so. So I got real quiet and didn't say anything and just let him sleep. And so we'll just go live later. I figure Here. it doesn't help her to help out do things because she does so much for me. So Trish said maybe she will make you some brownies. <sighs> oh, she made me a chocolate pie. Oh, so delicious. He's been harping at me wanting a chocolate pie. And I said, okay. So I made him his chocolate pie finally. And then after I made his chocolate pie, he goes, man, that was so good. I said, let me guess, you want another one? He goes, sure. I also made a banana cream pie. And he loved it. Um, the bottom of the pie has a 
cream cheese. I take one of the blocks of the cream cheese, like whatever it is, eight ounces, 16 ounces, whatever it is. And then you put that, it has to be room temperature because it has to be softened. And I put that in the mixer. And then once that goes in the mixer, I used a half a cup of powdered sugar. Yeah. And then once that was whipped together, I put it in the crust, a graham cracker crust. And then what else? Oh, then the chocolate pudding, which all I done was if it called for two cups of water, I only put one cup in. That way it'd be nice and thick. Then I poured it over that cream cheese filling. And then what else? Cool whip on the top. And then I always take little tiny chocolates and I sprinkle them over the top of the cool whip. And I made him one. And I don't eat chocolate because I'm allergic to it, but um yeah, I made you one, and then I also made our mailman one. One of each. One of each. And he said normally he doesn't eat chocolate pie like that because he just doesn't care for it. But he said the way I made it, he loved that chocolate pie. And he goes, I'll take that any day. I said, I'm sure you will. <laughs> but I also made the banana cream the but same way. He did take them home and shared them with the family. Yeah, though. he did. He did. And they loved it. He said normally he doesn't care for chocolate pie, but he said the way I made it, it made it really good. And he said he really liked it with the cream cheese on the bottom. And I was like, mm, okay. He said, it's been a while since I've made those, but he's been harping at me to make him a chocolate pie. So I did. Now the next thing is cherry delight. Yes, dear. I'll have to think hard on that. We got the recipe. Do we? Uh -huh. We'll have to dig it out. I love cherry, or yeah, cherry delight. It's basically the same way almost. Uh, you make the cream cheese. Well, you do a cram, graham cracker. I thought crust. it was a pretzel crust that you use because no. I remember chopping up pretzels. I don't that. know. I thought it was graham cracker, but I don't know. That may be just the way my sister made it. Too. Is Mama still on here? I started to say, ask her. I she, don't she know. May know. She is not. Either way, it's in the recipe. Yeah, either but way. Put down a crust, either graham cracker or pretzel, whatever. And then you put a cream cheese layer. Mm -hmm. And then I think Cool Whip or some other type. I, I think it's Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Mm -hmm. and, that, and then take uh, one can of cherry pie filling and then just spread right. it. Yeah. Or you could use any other pie filling you can use like blueberry strawberry or whatever apple peach yeah so instead of it being a cherry delight it could be a peach delight or an apple delight or strawberry delight mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a strawberry fanatic but yeah you know, my mom and sister made them all the time when i was growing up and it was so good our mailman's lucky i feed him but we do we do um, appreciate him being on the route. That's for sure. So we try to show him our appreciation. I can't believe I'm doing this by my hand. Yeah, I don't believe it either. I, I mean. know, right? So yeah, he did get a pie. He got two of them. I did make banana, but he said he didn't want none of the bananas. So of course, I ate it over the course of the week. Little pieces at a time. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just kind of banana out. Yeah. But you love that chocolate pie. Yeah. And I do love stuff that, you know, banana pudding and all that stuff. I'm yeah. Yeah. You're just burnt out because burnt out. we made those banana cakes. Patricia said, have you tried heavy whipping cream with a little powdered sugar for replacement of food whip? No, but our doctor was telling us about I win because I was telling her I made the sugar free banana cake and it's just an angel sugar free and I just made two cuts on it so we would have two layers and then I made the sugar free banana pudding and I put that on there and then um, took a banana and sliced it up and put it around then I put the next layer on so it had two layers of the banana sugar free pudding and then the bananas and then after I got the lid on of it I use the sugar-free cool and our doctor was 
I was like, I know something that's better for you. She said, use the heavy whipping cream. And she said, use that and make your cool. Whip. Yeah, it's really good. But then I got, and I remember too, when we was on our way home that, um, I did make the heavy whipping cream into Cool Whip because the other banana pie that I usually make has it in there and you have to make your own whipping cream with it, the heavy cream. Pamela. Hi, Pamela. Hi, said, Hi Pamela. Greg finally made it and she said sprinkled with love. Oh, uh, thank you for the sprinkles. We appreciate those. All right. I just made a small bow for this. It's just going to go right in the center of those leaves. Yeah, every time I make something, it's like, I have to think, because I haven't made it for so long. It's going to make him a lemon pie, because he really loves lemon. Mm -hmm. He wants a lemon pie, minus the meringue, because he does not like meringue. I told her she can make it, put the meringue on there, but then once the pie's done, bacon, whatever you call it, she can slice all the meringue off and throw it on something else, and she can have it. No, he just pie. Yeah, he wants just the pie. He does not want that meringue on there. So sometimes I'll just make him a pie, a lemon pie, and just leave the meringue off because I'm not in the mood for it. I like the meringue, but sometimes I'm just not in the mood to eat it. And I like my lemon pies a little bitter. Mm -hmm. Instead of using um, water when you're making it the cook and serve kind, instead of using the water, Use lemon juice, and it makes it really tart, and that's why he likes it. Yep. Patricia said, oh, I love lemon pie. And then she said, I love meringue. <laughs> Me too. Me too. But a lot of times he's like, I don't want no meringue on there. I'm like, shut up. I do. Or if we go somewhere and there's pie I want, but it's got meringue on there, I'll scrape the meringue off and give it to her. Yeah. Patricia said key lime pie is amazing. I've tried key lime. I'm not crazy about it. That's one thing he won't eat. Okay, now I'm going to attach this along with these leaves. In I know, I'm weird. It's down, my bow up. There. Yep. Every time we go out to eat, or if they, if they have cobbler. Oh, blackberry cobbler. <laughs> That's one of his favorites. He used to make it all the time. I'm like, uh-uh, no, you're done. Pamela said, "I love banana cream pie and chocolate peanut butter cream pie are the best." Mm-hmm. They are good. I used to make peanut butter pie all the time, too, and I finally stopped doing that. I haven't made one in a long time. Patricia said cherry cobbler is awesome, or amazing. No, awesome. That's right. I'll See, eat. I'm getting all worked up talking about this pie. <laughs> You'll be all right, baby. You're going to be all right. We you uh, just had pie. Went to a local place out here by us and ate. It was mm -hmm. close to Thanksgiving time. So they had different platters you could order and one of them was the thanksgiving platter and the platter was that big and had turkey yeah. dressing mashed potatoes gravy just everything you would have and they take biscuits deep fry them and then they made apple butter and then what? Patricia said, I know, I'm getting hungry with this talk. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> but they do the deep fried biscuits? Yeah, they deep fry their biscuits, and then they take the biscuits, and they serve you biscuits, and they sprinkle a little powdered sugar on them, and then they set those at your table. And um, they send, they make homemade apple butter because it's up on the hill from they us. They have an orchard. Yeah, they have an orchard. They also have a winery. So 
they have all this stuff that they make out there. And so they deep fry those biscuits and then they sprinkle a little powdered sugar on them and then they set them down at your table. And then you can eat those as like an appetizer. It's like a free appetizer while you're waiting on your food to come. And then, um, what else? Then you can order your food and then, yeah. Yeah. But I got that big old platter of Thanksgiving dinner and I mean, I was stuffed after I got done eating it, but I seen it had blackberry cobbler on the menu. I said, I got to have it. I know I'm just ate this and I'm full, but I got to have it. So they brought it out. And that piece of blackberry cobbler was like that big. I said, let me have a little taste of that. And he goes, ah. So he, he gets in there in his little dish and he starts fishing around. And he finally got me out a little, little bite and it was all the crust. I go, thank great crust. I enjoyed that. Whatever. You could have ordered goes, your own. He goes, well, I still <laughs> shared it with you. I was like, you sure did. <laughs> Don't ask him for a bite of nothing. He ain't gonna get it. <laughs> Whatever. I share everything with you. Hi, Laura. She hi, said, hi Laura. guys. I'm late. Just got back from grocery shopping. Oh, girl. I feel for you. That's one daunting task I don't like. If you think about it, you load up all your groceries in the basket. Then you get to the cash register and you have to unload them again. Then you have to load them back up into your grocery cart. Then unload them with your car. Then That's you after paying for the unreal prices of everything. Yes. Everything has gone up. It's crazy. And then Patricia said, oh, I never had deep fried biscuits. I don't think I can have apple butter if it has cinnamon allergic to cinnamon. Ooh, yeah, it does because you can taste it. And then Patricia said blackberry cobbler is really good, too. I love it. Oh, my gosh. He loves their blackberry cobbler. I'm like, Steve, we'll just come up here whenever you get a craving, get you a little bite of it, call it done, and then we'll go home. Right. He's giving me the evil eye, y'all. Stop <laughs> looking at me. I'm not trusting you no more. I, I didn't do nothing. I'm tired. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm not no blackberry cobbler, so don't be nibbling or anything. Stay over there. I'll take you up the, up the hill and get you one. Uh-huh. Yeah, but this little place that we're talking about, it's up the hill, and they have a winery on this on this over here in this area and then the restaurants over here and they have like a little makeshift store that's right there off from the restaurant and that's where they sell like their apple butter and their jams and jellies that they make out there and it's acres and acres and acres of orchards there's apples strawberries grapes Church <laughs> said he's getting hungry i am <laughs> he just ate too because i'm fatty you're getting hungry for them cobblers okay I promise we're almost done with this. Does anybody like veal? Stop looking at me with them hungry eyes. Can't believe you don't like it. Read your comments. Do your one job. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Except Shirley. Hi, Greg and everyone. Yeah, I love veal. He does. He loves veal. We... Most of the restaurants around here that serve veal or veal parmesan, they don't do it much anymore. So we looked up online places that still serve veal or veal parmesan. Patricia said, I like the crust inside of cobbler. Yes. Mm. And it showed us several, several places down in Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah. But they little pricey. I said, you're going to have to pay it if you want that cobbler or that bill. Yeah. yeah. But she hates bill. I don't eat it. But it's so good. How could you not? If you eat liver, you can eat that. I do eat liver. I'll eat beef liver and chicken livers. Mm-hmm. Not me. They're good. Maybe get my lip a little too small. There. I didn't. You got me all nervous over here. You the way you looking at me. I'm not still no tools. I'm still gonna shake you down, don't matter. I even gave you my screwdriver. <laughs> yeah. It's 
sounds like it's raining. It probably is raining. It's been raining all day off and on here. I had to run over into Ohio today. Well, the last three days. Yeah. That's why we weren't live. But they were talking about it's going to rain over there. We're going from Cincinnati up to Columbus. I was like, all right, when's rain going to start? Never did see it. Got up to Columbus and the roads were wet, but it wasn't raining. I was like, good, it beat me through here. Patricia said, I think traditional schnip schnitzel is veal but we use tenderized pork cutlets instead of it. it's cheaper and then pamela said so do i love liver mm -hmm. and Chris said send some rain to texas we need it oh you uh, can have right. it if i could usually whenever it's raining i get real sleepy fight that's why i don't like the rain i'll just lay down and go to sleep it's been dry here but It'd rain maybe five, ten minutes and stop, and the concrete would be wet, and then after about 10, 15 minutes, it was dry again. You never know that it even rained. It was just dry as all get out. Crazy. All right, let's trim these tails up. Then we'll get back to our cathedral. Neither one of these projects would take very long. That's why I chose these two. Yeah, it's raining. Yep, yeah, it's definitely raining. When it was raining earlier, when he was asleep, I looked out there to make sure he had the windows up on the vehicles. I do. You did. Oh, I seen the windshield cover. Yeah. My short butt couldn't reach it. <laughs> so I grabbed a hug and jerked it and it ripped. <laughs> yeah. I see that. Well, what do you do when it's cheap? Yeah. We'll get another one. We go into town. She wants one with Mickey on on it. I want Mickey seat covers for the car. I want Mickey steering wheel cover. I want Take Mickey seat covers out of the Jeep. No, you done wore them out. Wow. Well, then let's take them off. I don't care. Jeep's yours. I got a new car. Well, I need seat covers for my pickup. You can have those Mickey ones. I don't need You're those welcome. Mickey ones. They won't fit on my truck. Make them. No. I don't need Mickey on my truck. So anyhow, <laughs> here's our... I can't even deal with him, folks. I'm done. <laughs> I can't do it no more. Here's our little pumpkin that we made out of the coax. Oh, isn't that so cute? It is. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> now to the cathedral. Yes, we'll move back to the cathedral. There you go. What are you going to do with this? <laughs> What's that look for? <laughs> We're going to do the cathedral now. <laughs> oh, yes. And after I got that done, I painted it. And I, I just used the brown and the orange. Didn't matter. And then I'll go back through and put a Mod Podge on there to keep the... You could even put this on something. Wow. You know what the boys call you when you play basketball with them? What? They'd call you ape arms, right? Yeah. Put that back on. Oh, look like a monkey. Looks like a monkey with big <laughs> ears, doesn't he? <laughs> uh, Y'all see that? I'm just tapping you because you did a good job. Mm-hmm. Pamela <laughs> said, awesome. Yes, I have peace. You need peace up in here. <laughs> need peace and quiet <laughs> oh okay he got up today he told me to wake him up about five i said okay i'll wake you up about five so i went in there and woke him up i said honey it's 505 but you you want me to get you up at five he goes yeah he gets up he walks into the front room he starts looking around he goes you don't have the tv on i said i don't watch tv dude i need some noise yep that's the first thing he done was turn the tv on you was busy. I'm always busy. I'll touch that paint up here later. Just move on. Moving on. Moving on. Okay. I like that show too when it was on. What show? Moving on. Oh. You never watched it? No. I never watched TV. He keeps asking me, did you watch this? No, I don't watch TV. Pride. No wonder you don't know much.
Somebody's filling oats, filling his oats today. <laughs> so I'm using E6000 and we're just going to attach this with E6000. That's how you do with these signs. And they work and they stay. down so it stays could lay your uh little candy guy on there hold it down he's going in a swag i've got a vision for him too you always i always have a vision i mean i would have saved it TV and kept it and crafted with it only you. Okay. <laughs> what? Nothing. Hey, you drink the water. Drying my throat out. Did you tell me to? <laughs> no, I never. Uh -huh. We're close to a thousand people or followers. Folks. We are, folks. We're almost to a thousand. You know what that means? Giveaway. Yep. Laura asked, how you been feeling, Christy? Um, really good. Well, good. Really good, kind of. Um, there was a couple nights it was a sleepless night, but I, I made up for that yesterday. I slept all day. But I don't know. I'm pretty good. And I skipped over Pamela's comment. <laughs> I forgot. I'm sorry. I apologize. Getting Pamela. Pamela Getting. said, now, now, be nice. See, she told you be nice. <laughs> I'm trying. It's really hard with him. <laughs> really hard. What are you trying to say? Nothing, honey. Uh huh. So I just took one of these. <laughs> yeah, change the subject. I am. One of these little pine picks, and I just cut it off. And we're just going to, I'm just bending this, to, and I'm going to use three on each side. Are those frosted? Yep. They are frosted. Nice. You That's why I'm the head designer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. There was extras in there. Didn't know. Well. I know. Bonus. Right? Bonus. We're going to use them all. Patricia said, did you get the permanent simulator for your... Not yet. Um, They did the trial, and I was 100% pain-free. And I felt great. I was a little sore after the trial, but the pain was gone. So they said I qualified for the permanent one. And that's what we're waiting on is the permanent one to get scheduled. I did go see the surgeon last week. Yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. So they're going to get me on the schedule. So I haven't heard nothing yet. Still waiting. Laura said, there's never a dull moment with you two, LOL. I know, right? Pamela said, both of you be nice, smiley face. <laughs> and then, hi, H. Cooper, Crafty Bug. She said, that's going to be beautiful. Welcome. Oh, welcome. How are you? We are so glad to have you. Yes. Thank you. And then, Pat Patricia put laughing emojis. Patricia said, okay, that's good. <laughs> Yeah. So I'm just using three pieces on each side and I'm kind of bending them around like so. And I can't decide if I want it up here or if I want them down here. Which one do y'all think? Are we going to attach them down here or up here? Well, you here? don't want to cover up piece. No, that's why I'm only doing three on each. But the lights, too, we got to remember we got the lights that we're going to weave in and out of here, too. So, so maybe, you're a weaver as well. Why don't we do it up here? That way we can have keep the long tails on the bow. I guess. I've seen that. I got you on camera. It's videoed. It's videoed. H. Cooper said, hello. I am good, thanks for asking. Good. And then Patricia said, are you putting a bow? Yeah. I got one already made. Show them the bow. Folks. Don't fluff it, just show them the bow. <laughs> I'm not fluffing it. Don't fluff it, I'm don't not. just show them and that's it. I'm not even going to pick it up because of that now. 
<laughs> you can show them the back. Hi, Jody. Welcome. Hi, Jody. Welcome. It says it looks beautiful. Thank you. <clears throat> Folks, she got this done and starts fluffing it. So now she'll pick it up after I set it here before she even puts it on. She's going to fluff it. I will not. She will attach it and fluff it again. I told her, why are you fluffing? You know you're going to do it later. I don't know. I give up. You look like I'm a psycho or something. You, I think you just like fluffing bows. You need to leave. That's your pastime. <laughs> look, I can fluff a bow all day long and still not be done. There, I fluffed it for you. You don't fluff it. <laughs> Patricia said, yes, I think that's a good placement with a bow. Pamela said, oh, welcome newbies. And Laura said, welcome newbies. And then, hi, Ricky. He says, howdy, my Hi, friends. Mr. Ricky. How are you? And then Patricia said, that is a big bow. Yes. You know me. I always get Yeah, because you never go home. <laughs> well, isn't that the same? Go big, big or go home? Sure. Now that we got this kind of place where we're going to have them, and I'm going to use the Queen Zadas. And then Patricia said, that's what crafters do. Yes, we fluff and we fluff until we can't fluff no more. And then we fluff again. And hi, Gloria. Welcome. Hi, welcome, Gloria. And she said, we all fluff those multiple times. <laughs> laughing about <emojis. laughs> Yes. And he makes fun of me. I'm like, stop. But I will say this much. If you guys ever need a bow fluff, do not ask him. Okay. I do a good job. Look what I did. <laughs> Dude. Ricky. Ricky said, I'm doing my job, okay? Ricky said, I'm like, oh, slop, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I asked him one time, one time. And I did fluff it. To fluff the bow, because I was trying to hurry and I was running behind. I don't know what he did to that bow, but he is not allowed to touch my bows. Okay, I'm mm. going to put a zip tie right here in the center. I'll probably put two of them on there just to make sure. Go ahead. Do your one job. <laughs> Jody said, hi, guys. The bow is great. Every bow needs extra. That's right. That's what I've been hearing. <laughs> Gloria said it's glory, not Gloria. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Thank you for correcting him. Yes. Don't ever hesitate to correct him. I, I don't hesitate it. Don't get the whip out again. Whatever <laughs> you wish. I apologize, Glory. <laughs> Laura said, very pretty bow. Thank you. She always tells me I use too much ribbon. I said, you don't use, I don't use too much ribbon. She gets out like 50 different ribbons. And I said, what are you going to do with all that? Make a bow? With all that? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, you want to remind our new, our new uh, viewers? About. Yep. Oh. Yeah. You want we reach a thousand followers on Facebook. We're going to do a giveaway. So we have several items mm -hmm. that we're going to show. And He's going to show you a few of them, not everything. Yeah, not everything. But it's almost going to be a giveaway. Every five minutes. Every five minutes throughout the whole live. But that's after we reach a thousand followers. Yes, and we're so, so close. Yeah. So here's one of... You guys can see that. <clears throat> and then there's this one. And we'll show this one. So, yep, once we reach a thousand followers, we're close. We're at 987. Yes. So, when we reach a thousand, we'll be giving stuff away. That's just. A few things that we're going to be giving away. Yeah. That's not everything. Oh, and you want to show them what it comes in? Uh, da, 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 All right, da, da. catch up your comments, then you can show them the other thing. Glory on. said, everyone mispronounces. I give second chance. Oh, thank you. You are too kind. You have a big heart. Thank you. And then Teresa said, you two always make new laugh. Make me laugh. Oh, uh, awesome. Me laugh. We should Good. all laugh today. And Laura Fine. said, pretty ribbon. Thank you. See, it's pretty ribbon. That's why I use it. 
And for those of you that are new, we are just silly out of the box. We, I love to craft, and he reads my comments for me. She loves to craft, and I love to cut up. Yeah, he does love to cut up. And he loves it when y'all give him a hard time, too. I do. He does. I enjoy that. That's why I say get after him. I need it to survive. What? <laughs> <laughs> He's also full of himself, I'll just say. Since we're live and I can't say nothing else. You got to be nice. This is PG program. Really? Yeah, honey. I'm being nice. Okay. He's so rotten is what he is. And hi, Aubrey. Said hi, Christy. Hi, Aubrey. And then H. Cooper said that bow is gorgeous. Thank you. All righty. And we are just one big family on here. Yes. We have great followers, viewers, friends, family. And including my nieces on here. How are you doing, Aubrey? This is my little niece. And you guys are going to get to meet her live pretty soon because... I'm going to go get her sometime and bring her home with me so she can stay with me for a little bit because she's been wanting to come down and stay with me. So I'm going to go get her here sometime soon and bring her down. And we're going to craft and do all kinds of fun things and aggravate Charlie Brown. I think I got to work during that time. Whatever. <laughs> uh, Patricia said crazy. Ready woodcrafts. I am, but I don't have any to do anything because being so high. Yeah, everything's so high right now up here. And then what? Aubrey said, I'm good. How are you? I am good. When do you go back to school, Miss Aubrey? So I know how long I can keep you. I'll tell you, before we moved away, my house was always full of my boys and all their friends. Then when I started getting lots of nieces and nephews, then it was full of nieces and nephews. They used to come and stay with me all the time. But, of course, we moved. And so now I have to travel back and get them and bring them down here and stay with me for a week. All righty. And Glory said, I'm guilty of pulling multiple ribbons and then decide once I have the wreath face made and lay the sign on the wreath, then pick which ribbons I want to use. Yes. Yes. I'm going to trim these tails up gentch because they're all the way down to the past the thing. And then Aubrey said, I don't know. Patricia said, what is high here to? Jody said, where are you? We're about 20, well, for me, 25, 30 minutes northwest of Louisville, Kentucky. We're in southern Indiana. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, like I say, about 25, 30 minutes from Louisville. We're down here right at the borderline. Yep. And then Aubrey said maybe August 8th. Okay. So we still got some time before I can come and get you. I mean, once I come and get you, we got some time for you to stay. Yeah. It depends on who's driving. Depends on how many cops are out that day. <laughs> what? How many cops are out that day? Now, if you're a cop, you don't need to follow me. <laughs> She's talking about in your cars. You don't need to follow her, but you can follow us on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In your cars. Don't follow me, cops. <laughs> Jody said, thank you. H. Cooper <laughs> said, so pretty. I have to go. We'll watch the replay later. Have a good night. You too. You thank too, you. For... And thank you for joining us. Yes. Lori said, I have family in. I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong. Sure. I can't even. <laughs> I'm not even going to tip it. I can't see where. C H U R U B U S C O. I have no clue. 
Patricia said, oh, you didn't? You get pulled over several months ago? <laughs> no. Is there something you need to tell me? No. Look, I made our, home, our hometown cop <laughs> a wreath. I'm probably going to get it wrong, Glory, but I'll try Cherry Bosco. Does that sound right? Maybe. This is one of my days I can't pronounce things right. I apologize again, like I got your name wrong, Glory. <laughs> I think you keep getting it wrong because I keep hearing you say Gloria. No, I say Glory now. Okay. Glory is such a beautiful name, isn't it? Glory? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It is. It's beautiful. It is. All righty. Now I'm going to turn on the lights and see how they look. And make sure they're all spread out throughout here. Hmm. Glory said it's okay. Y'all have to look up to see where that's at. said churro then Bosch. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'll have to look up where that's at and see how far away that is. Pamela said, I got lucky on some wood last week. A guy gutted a trailer and I got wood scraps old and new. Awesome. Oh man, that's awesome. I seen where people were giving away like furniture and stuff like that. They had a yard sale and it didn't sell. And they was like, hey, anybody want this? Come and get it. And I thought, mm, maybe. And Laura said, very pretty, Christy. Thank you. And Glory said, just thank Glory. Hallelujah. That's right. Yes. And when you see this on the back side, I'm going to show you the back side too. It's nice and clean. And you can still see some of the light shining through on the back. And this is where the batteries go. Glory said it's near Fort Wayne. Ah, so you're not that far away from us. Well, her relation. Uh, oh, her relation then? Yeah. Okay. Patricia said the lights didn't light up all the way over the arch. Is it supposed to? You know what? It is supposed to. Yeah. I'm glad you caught that because I didn't. It's just that small strand right here. Well, I guess we'll have to take those out and put new ones in. Yep. Yep. They well, didn't light up. Defective. I didn't even notice that. Thanks. That was a good catch. So I'll be putting new lights on this, which is okay because it's on the outside. Jody said that is beautiful. And Pamela said gorgeous. Thank you. And it's not really all that thick. So if they wanted to put it between their door and the screen door, it would fit. But as well, they could hang this on the mantle or on the wall. And then, where's her? Other thing. You put it over there. Patricia said sorry. Yeah, I'm glad you caught that. I can't use way. Hold that up. I gotta trim these tails too. I thought I only had one job. You do. This wasn't it. My job is read comments. You got one job description. Uh huh. I didn't trim these. What? You hear that thunder? I do. It's crazy. All righty. Hey, hey. I ain't gonna get you. It's a little easy there. I ain't gonna get you. That's what you say until you do. You're so <laughs> rotten. You're so rotten, y'all. All righty. It's the way you like me, rotten. Every day. Trish said it is beautiful. Thank you. And these I'm just going to give them kind of like a small curl to just. Just to do it. Just to do it. Just to have a little flare in there. Even though I dovetailed them, I'm still going to give it that little curl like that. Here we go. Can I sit down now? Yeah. Thanks. And this one I wanted to go 
and right there where we zip tied it, this ribbon will wrap around that. That's why I left these ones long. Gloria said, really windy here, fixing the storm has been around me. Wow. Oh, wow. Hopefully everything goes all right and yeah. it's not a severe storm. We don't want anybody to get hurt or anything like that. No. And then Patricia said, you two are super fun to watch. <laughs> we try. Life is so hard. And we just try to give everybody an hour to sit down and relax and have fun. Yep. Yeah. So the next time you have a bunch of coaxes laying around, think of what you could do with them. Something outside of the box. Make a lasso. Oh, Make Lord, a wooden no. horse. And oh, no. A wooden horse out of this? No, make a wooden horse, make a lasso out of the coax, and lasso a horse. Hey, thinking outside the box. Yeah. So, there's that. And then Something Pamela, different. Pamela said you two were so awesome. I, that could be why I love you so much. Oh, we absolutely love you guys. And then Patricia said that cable pumpkin was a unique idea and beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, she always promotes... Think outside the box. Yes. If you have something that you're getting right the way, you know, take that second look at it and think, could I craft something out of that? Make something. I seriously thought about tying up Charlie Brown with it, just so he stays out of trouble. But then I thought, eh. I don't then get he, him. Then he take the trash out. Man. So, and then I am going to go to town tomorrow, and I'll show you what we're going to do tomorrow. Finally. Jody said it's storming down in St. Petersburg, Florida. Oh, my. Well, be careful. Be careful with those storms. We're finally going to do Santa tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Right. And I have a sign that goes with him, and he's going to be on a big wreath. And then Laura said it's supposed to have storms there in Kansas tonight. Mm, be careful. Yeah. And this... This Santa looks kind of antique-ish, more or less, like an older Santa, just the way they have him dressed. So I had this sign, and I'm going to put the sign with it, and it says, The Blessings of Christmas, Peace, Hope, Joy, Love. May you have a very happy Christmas. So this is the sign that I'm going to use, and this is the Santa that's going on the wreath. It's going to be a big one. So we're going to really do a big wreath tomorrow. So that's what we're doing tomorrow, and we'll be live at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern. And anything else? And don't forget to follow or subscribe. Yeah. Because, like I say, once we hit that thousand mark, we're going to be doing a giveaway. Yep. And all your little gifts. I have different colors, so I mean, all of your stuff will be in a little tote bag inside of a box. And you'll get this in the mail. So... And Glory said flash flood warnings in Arizona. Oh, man. Be careful. Oh, no. Definitely be careful. Like they say, do not drive across water going across the road in that. Yeah. Uh, Patricia said cute Santa. Pamela said Santa, yes. Jody said what time do you go live? We go live on Fridays at 6 p.m., mm -hmm. 7.30 p.m. on Sundays. Mm -hmm. And... 2 o'clock on Mondays, 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Eastern. Those are all Eastern times. Yes. And then Laura said, love the Santa. Patricia said, I'll watch. I'll watch on replay tomorrow. I don't get off until 4.30 Central Time. Uh, we'll be thinking about you. Yeah. But, yes, like say, we're at 987. Once we reach 1,000, we'll be yep. doing a giveaway and... We're going to be doing a giveaway. I got lots of ribbon. I got lots of other stuff that we're going to do. And it's every five minutes. I said minutes. Every five minutes, we're going to give something away. So it's not just ribbon. There's I got signs. I got all kinds of stuff. So you never know what you're going to get until you get it in the mail. And that's our way of saying thank you to everyone. And we always like to give back. Yes. All right. Anything else? All uh... right. Other than we love all of you. Yes, we love you all. And if you're watching us and you're following us, you're, you're, yeah. you're family. Even if you don't follow, you're still family. Yeah, even if you don't follow, you're still family. We still love so, you. But we'd appreciate it if you'd follow us. Yeah, Laura said, we'll have to watch replay. We'll be in Wichita. Daughter has to have injections in her eyes tomorrow. Ooh. 
Oh, Lordy, I'll be praying for her. Oh, my goodness. And Teresa said, beautiful crafts. Good night. And good night, Teresa. Teresa. I love, love you. All, too. all right. Well, everyone, have a good evening. And be safe. And have a good week. Well, we'll see you tomorrow, maybe. Yeah. If not, on the replay. So. All right. Everyone be blessed and be kind. Bye. Everyone.